Welcome back to part two of our lesson on how to calculate the amount of stock solution needed to prepare a desired solution. So in part one, I explained to you what a stock solution is and we went through examples one and two and what's left are examples three and four. And with that being said, question three reads, how much in milliliters of a 1% stock solution of a certified red dye should be used in preparing 4,000 milliliters of a mouthwash that is to contain one in 20,000 weight per volume of the certified red dye as a coloring agent. So we've been told the concentration of the stock solution being 1%. Remember the formula Q1 C1 is equal to Q2 C2 where that's the quantity of the stock solution and its concentration being multiplied. And on the right side of the equation, that's the quantity and the concentration of the final solution. So we've been told the concentration of the stock solution being 1%, 1% needs to be converted into decimal form. So we divide this by 100% and we end up with 0.01. I'll take this value and substitute it into C1. 0 0.01 and on the right side of the equation we've been told the final volume which will go under the quantity of the final solution being 4,000 milliliters and its concentration is 1 in 20,000. The way you interpret that is you write it down as a fraction at least that's what I like to do 1 over 20,000 and think of the top part being 1 gram per 20,000 milliliters. Think of it like that. We haven't been told specifically what the units are for the weight, but assuming that it's in grams, it would be one over 20,000. Anyway, what you do now is you find out what that is as a decimal. So one divided by 20,000, and it is five times 10 to the power of negative five, which when written as a decimal is 0 0.00005. And that is the concentration of the final solution, 0 0.00005. And that's a unitless number. So we isolate for Q sub one, and that can easily be done by multiplying the right side. So this number times 40 or 4,000, and that is equal to 0 0.2. So the right side of the equation, I'll just erase that for a moment. The right side of the equation is 0 0.2 and the left side of the equation is Q1 times 0 0.01. And then you divide both sides by 0 0.01 and look what happens when you do that. This and that will cancel out, leaving you only with Q sub one on the left side and on the right side, 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.01 makes 20. So to help you interpret this, the stock solution will need to be 20 milliliters at this percentage in order for you to prepare the final solution of 4,000 milliliters at that concentration. Before we move on to the final question, in case they ask you for the active ingredient or the amount of active ingredient in the stock solution, what you do is you take this value of 20 milliliters And you multiply it by its concentration of 0 0.01, remember 1%. Multiplying these two out should give you 0 0.2 grams of active ingredient. And the reason why I wrote down grams is because we made that initial assumption that it's first of all, weight per volume, and that initial assumption was that the weight, its units are in grams. So 0 0.2 grams out of the 20 milliliters is active ingredient. In question four, how much in milliliters of a one to 50 stock solution of ephedrine sulfate should be used in compounding the following prescription? So let's take a look at the prescription. The doctor writes ephedrine sulfate 0.25%, that's 
that needs to be made into a decimal. So 0 0.0025, simply divide that by 100. And it needs to be 30 milliliters. So its volume, or its quantity, Q2, is 30 milliliters. Using our formula, Q1, C1 is equal to Q2, C2. Let's substitute these values. Remember, that our final solution needs to have a concentration of 0 0.0025. And its volume is 30 milliliters. We start with 1 to 50 concentration, or 1 over 50, as a decimal that is equal to 0 0.02. And that's our C1 value, so 0 0.02, and we're look, looking for Q1, doing it the same way as we did in question 3. We multiply those out, so 30 times 0 0.0025, and then divide both sides by 0 0.02. You end up with 3.75. So the stock solution needs to be 3.75 milliliters at a concentration of 2% for you to be able to prepare this final solution. Again, if they ask for the amount of active ingredient for the stock solution, you take 3.75 milliliters and multiply it by its percentage of 0 0.02. And let's find out how much active ingredient there is. There is 0 0.075, and they don't tell us whether it is weight per volume or volume per volume. So the amount of active ingredient could be 0 0.075 milliliters or grams. They don't specify. If you have any further questions about what I showed you in this video or in part one, feel free to use the comment section below and I'll gladly answer your question. Otherwise, use our website at biology-forums.com. Hope to see you there.